It's not revenge we're after. It's the reckoning. Oh, and you can bet the reckoning is on its way. You're in a good fight with Jamison Haygood. We're visiting today the first hour with Senator Melanie Sojourner. Uh, Senator, I've heard a recent objection to Delbert Hoseman's appointing of 13 out of 16 Democrats to powerful committee chairs in the Senate. I've heard a shocking objection, even from uh, well, they're actually establishment talking heads. I won't get personal with it right here with you on the phone, but uh, I, I plan to call these people out and to continue to call these people out in the uh, in the future. Talking heads and Delbert Hoseman voters, few they may be, are saying, OK, so he put 13 Democrats as committee chairs over his Senate that he presided over. Well, can you show me the legislation that they squashed that hurt? How did that hurt? Why is that a big deal? Uh, you know, it, taking that route for the objection. Can you speak to what comes with a powerful city committee chair position outside of just being able to squish legislation inside the committee itself? Yeah, Jameson, I tell you, this this line of talking points that we've been hearing over the past week or so about this issue is really alarming to me and as a Republican, really upsetting because you have members of the Republican Party, some in leadership positions. You have members of what's supposed to be a more conservative media in this state just saying things like, "Ah, so what? He appointed 13 of the 16. It really doesn't do anything. It doesn't hurt Mississippi. Jameson, that that is alarming it when is. you hear that it and it, because I know these people know what they're saying surely is not truthful. They're just trying to defend Delbert's actions and they're, they cannot be defended and they are inexcusable. So first of all, I was a freshman Senator mm-hmm. who was given a chairmanship by then Lieutenant governor Tate Reese. And I hear some of these people say, well, there just wasn't enough Republicans for all the committees, and he couldn't give it to freshmen. Hey, Reese did. Wow. Not just to me, to, a, to another one. Wow. So that excuse doesn't fly. You know, here's the thing. These committee, Delbert Hoseman, as we know, the lieutenant governor is the most powerful position in the state. When you appoint these chairmanships, that is basically the person the lieutenant governor is working directly with, deciding what bills live and what bills die. And I can tell you, I had a great Second Amendment bill that would protect Mississippians against Joe Biden and any federal gun confiscation scheme they wanted to do. Mm. When I went to the chairman, the chairman says, oh, Senator, you know, I love that bill and we need to get that done in Mississippi. But I got to call Delbert. Right. And right there with me on the speaker phone, he made the call and they were like, absolutely no. We've already said we're not passing those bills. That's just an illustration. Wow of the power these chairmen have. So when you put a Democrat in control of that committee, working with Delbert Hoseman, they decide what lives and what dies. I'll give you a great example. One of the most powerful committees in Jackson is public health. Mm -hmm. One of the most liberal senators in Jackson is Hob Bryan. Hob is a key member of Delbert Hoseman's leadership team. There were multiple pro-life bills that came before public health during this past term that all were killed because Hop Bryan was chairman of the Democrat committee appointed by Delbert Hoseman. Mm -hmm. Now, outside of what they can kill, let's also just think about empowerment. Once you've been chosen to be a senator over these committees, those Democrats now have powerful talking points. Powerful positions given to them by by a Republican, a supposed Repu- a rhino, right? A Republican in name sure. only. Now these Democrats can go home and run for re-election, even though some of them are in areas that could swing yeah. Republican. These Democrats can now say, "But I've been a chairman. I've been a part of the process. I've worked with your Republican leader." It's okay to keep me as a Democrat. It's okay to select me over a potential Republican because I'm already working with Republican leaders. And some of those races are occurring in Mississippi today where Republicans are challenging some of these Democrats. But because of Delbert's actions, he's empowered those Democrats 
ensuring that they stay in office and ensuring that they stay in power. Jameson, this is happening at a time when Democrats in our nation are unhinged. They are passing radical, far-left, liberal policies that are damaging and crippling our country. And to think that in a state where the people are as conservative in their beliefs as Mississippi, that we would have a Republican leader taking these actions, it's inexcusable. And it's unthinkable to me that any Republican holding office, serving in a GOP leadership, or working as a Republican pundit would make excuses for this action and act like this is okay. It's not, and it should not be accepted by the people. For no other reason alone, the people of Mississippi should reject Delbert Hoseman, his leadership style and his behavior, especially when faced with such a strong conservative champion with a proven record and fighter for what we believe in like we have in Senator Chris McDaniel. Wow, I'm not going to add a single thing to that analysis from Senator Melanie Sojourner. We continue with more when we get back. Stick around.